welcome back to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball joints adult and craft related content. Today, my camera is dead and we are filming on my iPhone. So today I have kind of a review slash unboxing of Debbie Do Y'all's sundresses. Um, they're made for mini fees, but I figured they would fit some of my slim minis, maybe even my Rose Helen. Um, this is Bijou, she's just hanging out here. Uh, this is her new wig. I quite like it on her. She's so sweet in it. But this is not a review for the wig, although um, it is actually a review for dresses. Um, so to start, I ordered these quite a while ago. Um, it did take longer than listed to ship. So it had said uh, like 10 to 14 days or something. Uh, it actually took closer to 21. Um, I was a little bummed out, but I mean, also my desk is slanted. But yeah, I was a little bummed out, uh, but they did eventually ship and come. Uh, the communication was really good though. So when I said, I had sent a message through Etsy saying like, hey, haven't got this, like what's up? What's going on with this? And uh, she let me know like she was a little behind, or like she was sending all the orders Friday, yada, yada, yada. So communication was good. Um, the prices are pretty good too. They're, gosh, what were they? They were like 20 pounds each. So maybe like 22, 25 USD. I'm not sure how that exactly works out. In Canadian, it was like $28 a dress and I got four. So without further ado, let's check them out. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab everything in here. Uh, she did send some candies. I like this. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Debbie Doodle. It's very cute. Custom orders welcome. Very neat. I'm pretty sure I can't eat these, but the thought is nice. Thank you. Uh, yes, okay, so we do have the dresses. So the first one, oh, there's two in each package. So <laughs> dress number one is this blue gingham, which I can already tell I want on Bijou, actually all of these. And then I have this really cute like spring print, uh, a peach print, ooh, all of these are gonna be lovely. And then I have like a darker one on this side. I was thinking more for like Margot or um, Birdie or somebody like that. So let's crack these open. Yeah, so these are all handmade by Debbie. And I needed new dresses for my dolls um, badly. So I'm excited to see these. So they Velcro up the back, which isn't bad. Actually, it's different. I'm used to snaps, but the Velcro is nice as well. It's really easy, I guess. These look a little wide, like for their, for mini fees. I don't think they are though. I think it's one of these things where they like look wider than they are but they're very soft. The stitching is nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And then the blue one. So they're all the exact same cut. It's all the exact same dress in different prints. So why don't we just try one of these on Bijou and just see what happens as we bald her. Now I have to pick one though, and that, ah! You ever just throw clothes? Now I have to pick one, and that's the hard part. I'm hoping I can get these shorts off without having to take off her boots and socks. I have still not fixed or figured out the kicky issue. It's kind of a pain. She's doing it now. Um, but. I figured, I saw something about putting plastic wrap in there, like saran wrap, and I might try that. So which dress do I want to try first? Maybe, hmm, I'm gonna put the wig back on just so I can decide. Pretty, I think that one or the peach one maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. I think that this, one is the cutest with her hair. If I can get her legs to go straight. I also chose to wear a sundress today, so this worked out nicely. Ooh. Well, 
let go over her butt? I don't think so. Okay, so it's not, it's not going up. So we're gonna have to go over. That's expected though, because I mean, Rose Helm has a much larger butt than a mini V, so <laughs> much bigger. So I wasn't really expecting it to go up, but okay, so I got it up, pull the shoulders. I think it's gonna fit perfect. I think it's perfect, guys. Oh my gosh, and that's so nice because it's hard to find clothes that fit this body properly. Um, don't get too excited. Okay, you can't see anything, all you see is hair. Let me stand her legs so we can see the length. Oh my god, she is made for sundresses with these little legs. Okay, stand straight. Look. So because she's so flat chested and like small up here, she fits mini fee sizes like crop tops really good. So I was really hopeful about this. And then this is like super flared on the mini fees, but it's like a perf perfect A-line dress um, for Bijou here. Oh my gosh, please stand, please stand, please, kind of. Okay, she's not good. she's not standing easily. We're just gonna put her back down. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get her back in here with her little her bangs in her face. Like it's so cute. Um I actually love the Velcro now that I've done it. I'm trying to think who else can I put in a dress right now? Erin's wearing a dress. Um just to try some different bodies because this would not be considered slim mini. I'm gonna grab my doll in mine flown. She's on, you know, she is on a little Monica body. She's already wearing black knee socks. I gave her Bijou's old wig and I like her much better now. Um, I originally had her as a redhead, but I think this suits her better. So let's just, I should hypothetically be able to get it, like the dress over her hips, no problem. Oh, I just realized that my uh, top I made could also double as a really cute skirt. So now I just might make a skirt to match. No underwear, obviously. I love that they're lined at the top as well. It makes them, it makes me like less worried that they're gonna stain because the part that's fitting tight against the doll is not dark colored, even though the dress is dark colored. Um, like the arms could still be a problem and stuff, but uh, this seems a little more manageable. Okay, so this is more how it would fit on a mini fee, I think. See how it's a little, a little wider? It, she looks great in this dress though. Uh, it really suits her. Um, her socks are like high enough where it almost looks like she's wearing tights until they're pulled up, which is like, you know, big love for that. But um, the length is really good. It's a little bit above the knee. It's not super, super short, which I appreciate. Uh, it'd probably be a little bit longer on a mini feet because they're a little shorter. But this looks really good on this body too. And uh, gosh, I'm really happy with these. Um, I can't wait to get the other ones on some girls, but for now, I think this is where we're going to leave it. Uh, this is on a standard slim MSD. This is on a kind of chunky MSD. Um, but yeah, I think that this could even fit like standard MSD, even with the way the Velcro is, you could probably also sneak this on some of the slimmer big baby styles. Like that would be really fun too. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. I do post twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays at th 3 and 5 p.m. Eastern time. 
as always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.